Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Gemini, we're going to do release and receive this week. So what is the universe asking you to release so that you might receive something in return? I have put together my Garden Titan deck with my Dark Goddess deck. So they're going to be, what do you have here? Inventiveness. Really use that mind, Gemini, Falcon. Really use that mind. Um, this is going to be the release. So we're going to, this deck is going to be used for the release. And then the receive portion is my Star Seed Oracle combined with my Goddess Wisdom deck. Your pre shuffle, your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, create, creative accountability. Well, that's really interesting because he's creating something. It feels like maybe going back to the drawing board, actually, because release that. That's not your reading. It's just a pre-shuffle anyway. So um, I'm going to go into my energy oracle deck for the in-between. So the in-between of what's the energy that sits between your release and your receive. And Taurus has inspired me to pull out, because I used it in theirs. So I'm going to use it in yours, is the uncommon tarot deck. It's really kind of cool. I haven't used it in such a long time. So this, yeah, having a new plan here. So, Gemini, let's get started. Let's see what your release is. Let's no longer speculate just based upon the underlines of the pre-shuffle. What is the universe asking Gemini to release? Respite. Taking a serious break here. Perfection. You're per you've perfected yourself. You don't need to respite. Respite. Sorry. <laughs> respite. You know, like when you read, I don't, you know, I think that's a lot of people. Like when you read, you don't read out loud. Like if you're reading a book and, you know, and it's not as often where you're actually reading out loud and saying these things and they don't come out the wrong way when you say them. But respite. So release this. Stop resting. <laughs> Stop resting, Gemini. If you, like, to me too, this just feels like needing some sort of, having needed a break during some sort of maybe chaotic or very busy part of your life and needing to kind of recover a bit from that, take a break from all that shit. But you're like, release it. Let it go. You've perfected. You've perfected respite. <laughs> You've perfected that shit. You've perfected yourself even. He seems so intense, doesn't he? Like, this is like coming out of the gates roaring. Oh, shit. Don't, don't sit in the shadows. It almost came out, don't shit in the shadows. But <laughs> don't sit in the shadows anymore. What do you need to receive? What do you need to receive? Well, what would the universe like you to receive? If you, like, stop shitting in the shadows. Earth school. Oh, shit. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I always think, oh shit, Earth School. What the hell? What the hell you got to do here? <laughs> There's gonna be a test. There's gonna be a lesson involved. You gotta get out there, man. You gotta bust out of the gates. That kind of feels like too. Like you're ready for this. Whatever this is, is this is a final exam? You're ready to take it. You're ready to take it. I feel like a clumsy oaf. In this reading with you, Gemini, like my words are stumbling, my body is stumbling. What the hell is going on? You have inner earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Who's <laughs> this going to be? You'll survive this. Okay, stop complaining. Hope I can survive your reading. I feel really clumsy. Just diving in, like just dive right into something. But you got to get out and experience it. You can't do it with this energy. Okay, so what's the energy? Okay, quick. I can't even ask the questions. Caring connections is the energy that sits between respite and earth school. So this might even be like an actual school because it says higher learning. So maybe some of you should actually go back to school, like study something. Get your brain going again. It's curious, isn't it? Angel of balance, and that's it. The angel of balance. 
oh, this reading. You know what it is? I like feeling myself today just kind of like very mellow, like just like right here. And I came into your reading, I'm like, boop, 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 boop. but your reading feels like this. So I'm trying to manage it. I don't know if that's your energy. Like even look at these two. These are so opposite. These two energies are so opposite related to your re release. <sighs> like it's making me feel kind of energetically unbalanced. The angel of balance. It's making me feel energetically unbalanced in your reading. Okay, Tarot. You know, I really, I want to be quite honest. I feel like some of y'all, there's an opportunity in the future for you to go back and study something and learn something. Whether that's an actual physical school or it could be something online or joining a, joining a community group and learning how to garden. <laughs> this comes up to garden, doesn't it? Oh, I these cards. I'm just a mess. I'm like a hot, it's not even hot. I'm a cold mess. A hot mess is at least kind of sexy. This is just a disaster. I don't know what happened. I walked into your energy. Oh, Gemini. Oh I just had this vision. Like, this is what I feel like when I've walked into it's almost as if you've just said, said something really intelligent. You've just made a really strong point to someone who has taken you the wrong way or something was going the wrong way. And you, yeah, and you turned to walk away and you fell over like, <laughs> you look like an idiot. You looked great for a second and then you look like an idiot. That's what this feels like. It's like, what is this energy? Ch All right, I'm going to go back to Taurus. We'll do it one more time. Oh, like this. I'm trying to figure out why this is here. This almost feels like, you know, this is the kind of funny feeling of this energy. This feels like, like teenagers going back to school, having had a summer vacation. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what this feels like. Having had a summer vacation, this respite is kind of like that. Having had a break away from things. And maybe you had like a super big crush on someone in your biology class and you never really got to talk to them about it. And you're just like, so you're rested on this. You rested, you rested, you rested on this all summer thinking about this. Okay, I'm gonna be really cool. I don't know. And then it's almost like, let's say you get your schedule for your first um, semester, going back to high school or whatever, college, university. And this person is in like every class. <laughs> god oh my so now i just feel like i feel weirdly clumsy <laughs> in your reading and then yeah and then you have earth school is to receive study higher learning are you gonna be able to are you gonna be distracted <laughs> i feel like really distracted and all over the place with this yeah it's kind of like the boy who had really good marks and then his heart took a <laughs> Took a hit here by Cupid's arrow and all his marks went downhill and he's just like, what's happened to you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me. Why are you making all those sounds, Lily? Oh, she's done with me. <laughs> she's Gemini. Maybe she's feeling this. That's my dog. That's what I'm talking about my kid. <laughs> Oh, you got Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, King of Swords. What does shit mean? Yeah, she just groaned. My dog just groaned for your cards. Oh, I was supposed to do this first. I have to. I have to. I have to do a private shuffle for this one. That's interesting. Well, it won't be private. We're all gonna see it. But I have to do a separate shuffle for that one. Okay. Earth School, Page of Swords. Oh yeah, like learning, right? Oh, you've learned, because, okay, on some level, like, this is, I mean, could you learn more with the King of Swords? This is somebody who's, like, an academic achievement. I would say that. There's an academic achievement that would easily be associated with the King of Swords. Um, I mean, usually, in terms of a professional, this one, to me, the King of Pentacles is, like, you know, balancing the budgets, accounting, and <laughs> 
Jackson is dope. CEO. -y. This is like the doctor, the lawyer, the dentist, the, you know, this is like, really, this is higher, higher learning. So maybe you've even taken a break from that. Or it's been a long time since you, it's like, there's a sense of going back and learning something here. The page of swords, you're starting fresh. You've never learned about this before. The seven of cups, no, you certainly haven't. <laughs> no idea. And the moon, boy, you have no idea. What the hell? Oh, there's something that, oh, there's, there's a lesson here. There is a big lesson that you're about to enter that you're about to receive. Okay, let's do the private shuffle for the Caring Connection. What is the private shuffle card for the Caring Connection that sits in the middle of all of this? The Seven of Wands. So interesting. Seven of Wands. I still don't understand the queen, the queen of swords. You have the king, queen of swords, and the page of swords. The three of wands, the ten of swords, the two of swords, the page of cups, the sun. Why is there so much? Oh, no, then we have the two of cups. There's a lot to get to that. Let's, I, that's a whole reading. Just give me a second here because this is just, what's going on here? Okay, you need to release your Ace of Cups and Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. You need to release something that you have or already perfected in your life. There's something that you've already perfected in your life and it feels like whatever this perfection was could have something to do either academically or something that you've learned and you know it pretty well. Like you couldn't know it any better than what you know it as but because of this like you, there's a real emotional detachment here a serious emotional detachment if if some sort of new emotional opportunity comes your way it feels like you can't even engage in it so you've perfected something that you know and you and because of this you've taken a break this respite feels like taking a hard left away from emotions. Taking a hard left away, hard stage left from emotions. And then the in between to get to this earth school energy is carrying connection with seven of wands. This could even be like people wanting to connect with you and you being kind of defensive about it. Or having your guard up. Yeah, the King of Swords. You perfected that, honey. You perfected the King of Swords, Gemini. Oh my God, so clumsy. I really, I really feel pretty awkward. I feel like a teenage boy. I don't know what to do with my body. She so perfected this. Yeah, let that go. <laughs> go. Because Earth School. Or there's something here that you need to learn about either psychic capacity with the Seven of Cups and the Moon. The whole thing is very Scorpio and Pisces and Cancerian. It's, it's like water, water, <laughs> Gemini. And look at you. You're going into it, though. The Page of Swords. I'm going to know. I'm going to learn it. I'm going to understand it from here. No, you can't. You have to understand it from, like, here and the the chakra like the crown chakra like the intuitive the psychic okay so now i can go over here i got a, a bit of a feel on this i want to say as well it kind of Uh -huh. I just, I'm noticing the butterfly repeat with the king and page of swords. Um, no, the queen doesn't have the butterflies. Um, it's like, you know, so this is like book. No, like, you know, something via book knowledge. Some are, it might not be book. I don't know what it is. It's something 
Like, you know it theoretically. Theoretically, you know it. You'll no need to come over here and apply it. And there's a lot of confusion about that. Theoretically, you know something inside and out. You've perfected this. If anyone asked you advice about it, yeah, that, do, do, do. you got it. You know it. But to apply it in your own life, practically, oh, it's like a big, I don't know. That's what that is. And who knows, maybe this is about relationships. This could almost be like a psychiatrist or a marriage counselor kind of energy. And yeah, like you go into this, your emotions are not connected. That's the difference. It's different when you're helping other people. But when it's you, that's a whole other story. Ah, now we understand. Okay, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Page of Cups, how to start over again on some level. Going from the Queen of Swords to Three of Wands and then the Ten of Swords is a major ending. I feel like you almost know that this is a major ending for you in the sword capacity. Like you've taken your mind as far as you can go. There's no way forward with the mind. The only way forward is to start small with your emotions and that grows into something very big with great potential with the sun and the two of cups. She's just groaned again. No, why are you groaning so much? Oh, it's because she's on a diet. Now feed me. Feed me. This is totally that. I would describe it as that. It's almost like a marriage counselor energy. Because of this. Because the caring connection here. It has something to do with relationships on some level. Um... Marriage counselor, guidance counselor, like anything like that. And yeah, it's so easy to do it when it's for other people. You know exactly the advice you need to give them. But then the minute it comes, and it's going to, it's going to become in your life because it is. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning, earth school, plunging you into it. Respite. What have you been taking a big break from here? Permit. So not even stop it. Permit. Yeah. Permit. Taking a big break. A lot of internal looking, looking internally here, big time. But it feels like with the mind. And it's funny because the Hermit is Virgo, which is also Mercury energy. The Ace of Cups. The King of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. Let's see where this goes. The Eight of Cups. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> There's the cutting out of something, right? The cutting out the emotions. Okay, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is associated with someone who's your Two of Cups. It's the King of Pentacles. So, a new beginning... And an emotional disconnection here. The King of Swords. Like, yeah, I don't know, maybe even getting help. Maybe even getting a colleague. <laughs> help you cut it out. The King of Swords. The King of Swords. The King of Swords. Oh, jeez. The Hierophant and the Tower. Okay, for some of you, I'm not sure why the ace is here. I don't know if it was a new beginning and some sort of emotional feelings that you had with someone, but it was the potential for something. Because an ace really is a potential. It's the potential for something. Um, with the king of pentacles, it's like someone who's got a really solid foundation here, someone who's made great success in their life. They're very stable. They're, um, you can count on this person. This person is very accountable. It's the accountant. <laughs> Where's that? That is a difference. It's a professional too, but it's more like the accountant. 
like making sure all the little things are in a row and everything is organized and everybody has pens and paper. But then Eight of Cups comes in with the Queen of Swords and she can cut shit out. And because we're talking about emotional disconnection, I want to say that's what happened here. And the mind told you to do it. And it's funny because then you have the King of Swords with the Hierophant in the Tower. It does feel like, like it could be a colleague. Like someone who helps you do this. It could be a, even a lawyer because you got the Hierophant. So it could be a relationship that you got cut out here. That you cut out and you're taking like, you've been taking a pretty hot minute. With it, you've perfected that. You've perfected respite. And maybe you've also perfected what you've learned in that, but on a theoretical level. You haven't done it in reality yet. The caring connection. You just want sixes, honey, or you can take it home. Karen, can I get the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands? You just want equal give and take in, I think, well, although what you want and what you're going to get might be the same thing because it's the in-between. But I think you, you still, you have like, wow, these wands up, these claws out. The Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So equal give and take will lead to success. That makes sense. It makes sense. Equal give and take will lead to success. The Seven of Wands, though. This is where the cat's like, wow, wow. Seven of Wands. Oh, the Lovers. Okay, so it, like it could be romantic again. It's another six. Ooh, six, six, six. Brought to you by the devil himself. Ah, oh, no, he's okay. Um, no, not, not always. The, the Lovers. This is also about choices, but we're talking about it. It's coming out with a caring connection. You're defensive about options. I would say that there's a defense mechanism, like a reflex. Whoa. Okay, Earth School. Because then you got to try to apply it. It's just to, I keep getting marriage counselor. I don't honestly know, like, if somebody is. He's coming to the reading. It feels like someone who's a marriage counselor and they've always given really good advice. They're, they've got a huge waiting list for people to come in and see them. And then their own marriage falls apart. And then they go through that in themselves. And they've always helped other people like get back on their feet or whatever that is. But then when it comes to their own life, <laughs> Earth School. Oh, the sun. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to have a good time. <laughs> I'm hearing that. it's suppo You're supposed to have a good time, which is interesting because I've never associated that with Earth School. It seems like a whole lot of hard knocks. But anyways, you're, you're supposed to have a good time. The Page of Swords. This is all the receive, right? The Ten of Swords. Oh, stop trying to learn this from a theoretical standpoint. Stop it. You're not going to, you're not, no. <laughs> the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups. You're like, I'm so confused, Cindy. I don't know. The Four of Cups. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Moon. The Judgment. Oh, who knows where this is going. But it's a new start. Oh, shit. We've got to get in the boat and go. You literally... Oh, this feels like I'm reading for somebody who's a little bit, um, like, obsessive-compulsive. <laughs> okay, this has to have to happen, and I need to, this for the trip, and then I need to do that, and then this is good, too, and then that. Okay, and then you got it all, and all of a sudden, the boat comes in really quick, and you're like, oh, everybody get on the boat quick, the dinosaurs are coming. <laughs> boat. I need all my stuff. No. I don't know where this is going or what's going to happen. That's okay. That's life. That's what that feels like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, like, uh, you're going to get dipped into it. And I, I don't know, you're not, because that's implying like dipping your toe in something. This is like you're just getting shoved in. You're getting shoved right in and it's water. It's water. There's no more thinking about things. There's no more intellectualizing. Yeah, it's just like no, you have to get in there and you gotta get you gotta you gotta get dirty in this. Like you gotta get dirty. 
and you got to feel the water. You have to plunge in. And that's emotions. I mean, we're talking about emotions. We're talking about relationships. So everything you, like you've got, everything that you know on a theoretical basis that you see for other people, this is good for them. This is, oh, and look at too, right? You had this inner earth. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Let's pull a card out for you on that. You'll survive this, Gemini. Oh my goodness. The Emperor and the Strength card. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Well, you'll survive it. You'll certainly come out like something else. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't know how you could be much stronger. <laughs> So that, to be honest, like, it's pretty strong. The Emperor and the Strength card? Oh my goodness. You'll more than, you will more than survive this. You will thrive in this. It just feels like you'll probably show up as, like, I felt so clumsy in this reading. That's exactly what this is. Like, I don't know how to do this. You'll show up in whatever this is. It's almost like the first day of camp. And you are just a hot mess. Oh, I remember my first day at camp. It was a sleepover camp. I didn't really like it. <laughs> I couldn't find my lunch when I got there. My mom packed me. We were supposed to pack a lunch. Like, take a lunch for the first, like, afternoon that you get there. And I couldn't find it. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find my lunch. I know I packed it. Where was my lunch? Somebody ended up sharing something with me. And then, you know, and then after that, it didn't matter. Because they provided the meals. Do you know? I found my lunch on the last day when I was... Rolling up my sleeping bag. I slept on my lunch for like five days. I put my sleeping bag on my lunch. That's kind of like, you know, you're just kind of showing up as a bit like the clumsy. This is going to be clumsy. It's going to be messy, but you're going to come out like really amazing on the other end. You're going to show up knowing like you've never sat in a canoe before and you're the first one that falls off of the canoe. You've never done archery before and you're, you know, all that stuff. But then you'll survive it. And then at the end, like literally, you'll be the one who gets on the bus at the end of camp that has the medal for archery, that has the medal for canoemanship, that has the medal for everything, that has the medal for sleeping on your lunch for five days. Oh, look, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you, well, you won't hesitate. You'll be like, I got this. I know it. <laughs> but you have to experience it to truly know it. You can't just theoretically go, yeah, yeah, this is that. Well, that's going to be really interesting for you, Gemini. <laughs> Thank you. So, Oh, I'm going to go do your extended. What are you, I'm going to look for advice for you. An impossible result should you follow the advice. Thank you so much, Gem Gems. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.